guys and thanks for stopping by my channel. So in this video, I have two Timu orders that I placed separately and never got around to filming them. And now we're just gonna do it all in one video. Let's go. First thing I got, and if I have the prices still, I'll leave them down below. The first thing I got was this little ice maker and it makes round ice cubes, like circles, like spheres. Thought that was neat, so I got them. Next, I got, hmm, I don't know why I bought this. I don't remember buying this, but it looks like a sponge with a handle. Uh, don't remember. This garlic thing, it's like a, you can, you can squeeze it and you can also shave it. And I think I got it because it was, you know, cheap. Then I've got this little container that I don't remember why I bought it. But it's just like this little plastic container that you could do anything with, really. This. Uh, how do I explain this? Also, how do I put this on? I have no idea. Um, did you guys know that Timu has like a sexy side to it? Like a bondage BDSM side. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but somehow I found it. And if I can insert a picture of what this is supposed to look like, I will show you. I don't know how to put this on. And what I'm gonna do is have Gary help. But basically it's like a leash kind of a harness for me. It's don't ask, okay? This is cool. I like it. I bought it. I thought it was interesting and different. I was going to model it for you, but honestly, who wants that? And also, I don't know how. I got some measuring spoons. Nice. Never can have enough of these. This is a cute, though very thin and flimsy, bath mat. I don't like to invest too much money into things like this because I have a dog that likes to ruin everything. So... If it gets destroyed, it's like not a huge deal for me, but if I were to buy a really fancy expensive one, I'd be a little bit irritated if she ate it, you know? This one, I mean, I don't want her to eat it. Take that back, but I, you know, if she were to destroy this, it wouldn't be like a huge punch to the face, right? I got a little cutting board, probably because it was super cheap. Um, I like, when I do cook, I like to use a lot of garlic, so this could be like my garlic thing, my garlic cutting board. I got another one, so I'm gonna put them either in front of the toilet and in front of the shower, or I'm just gonna do one at a time and see how long they last with my dog. We'll see. What is this? What is this? What? What? I don't remember ordering. I don't even know what this is. So, all right, let me show you. It's like, it has a handle, okay? And it has like this window for something. I don't know what it's for. It looks like it's a case for something. I don't know, I'll have to look at the receipt because I don't even know what the heck that is. I got a potato peeler or a carrot peeler or whatever you want to peel, got that. I got reusable cupcake holders because Gary likes to bake, he makes cupcakes, he makes muffins, he makes like um, whatever he makes. And I thought this would be cool to try instead of using the, re the throwaway ones all the time. So maybe we could be a little bit more, you know, smart about being wasteful, which is counterintuitive because of all the waste from the packaging, but <laughs> here we are. My wedding anniversary is coming up and I was looking at Timu for like ideas for my husband and I found this card. And it says, I promise to always be by your side or under you or on top, uh, on my knees, in front of you. We have options. <laughs> and I'm just going to make it our anniversary card. We will have been married for 16 years in July and together for 21. I got these gloves because they're for um, your dog and my dogs are shedding and so are my cats. So I could take like shadow outside, put these on and just go to town because she is shedding like crazy. And I thought this would be a cool thing and she'd probably like it too because she's probably just thinking she's getting pet, you know what I mean? Rock lobster for the puppy. 
or the cats, but I'm assuming that Shadow will probably destroy this because that's what she does, but Titus might get to play with it for a minute or two. <laughs> I got another thing for the dogs. Um, this is like a, a, a rubber curry comb brush, whatever you want to call it. Um, clearly we have a fur issue here. So, and slicker brushes are not good for what the dogs that I have right now. So we're going with these rubber things. I got this bell. I tried getting those buttons that you give to the dog and you record a word on it to try to get them to like understand like this one means out and this one means I want a treat. Well, Shadow broke them instantly, just her sheer size and enthusiasm. So I got a bell. And I'm hoping that like I can train them to ring it when they want to go out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I saw this bell and I was like, maybe she won't break this one because it's not electric. You know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see. I got a shaker cup because I don't really do protein powder too much. I get like the pre-made stuff, but I do drink oats overnight and you have to shake it and it's a drinkable oatmeal. I don't drink it every day, but I still, I actually canceled that subscription. I still have quite a few to go through and it's just always good for me to have shaker bottles around because I do end up using them one way or another. I got another little curry rubber comb. I'm just hoping that out of all of these things, something will work really well and the dogs will be okay with it and things like that. Oh, right, 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 okay, 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 cool. Um, I've seen this product before and then I saw it on Timu and it was a little bit cheaper than like at like the parrot websites. This is a bath for your bird and I am going to see if Phoenix will play in this. I'm going to put it at the bottom of his cage it probably will take a long time for him to get used to this because he's very wary of new things. The bird does not want to shower in anything bigger than the cup that his water is in for drinking. And I've put like metal bowls down there and he just wants nothing to do with them. This one actually, um, I'm not sure how it goes, but it's, I think you put a battery in there and it, it's a pump. So it'll have like continuous water. So I might do a video on that in the future just to see how he, how he does with it. I was just curious myself because I've seen this before. It's not that deep. Um, and I just want to see if he'll use it because like honestly anything to get that bird to bathe by himself well. So I don't have to do it. Probably still going to have to. But we can try, right? Um, and then I got this for Gary to put in his wallet too. This will also go with the card. Um, and this says, in case you need a little reminder, I love you now and always for the anniversary. Oh, I forgot about these. So like, you guys, you know that my background is garbage, right? Like it's garbage. I know it's garbage. And I saw these signs and I have that one lobotomy sign that I want to put up. I don't know if I'm going to change locations where I film, but I definitely need to do something, right? Because this is it. This ain't it, right? I got this. This might actually go outside. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Warning, property patrolled by a crazy woman with woman with dogs and automatic weapons. Anyone found here at night will be found here in the morning. Have a nice day. If this isn't me though. Um, then I got this one just because you guys know I love ravens and crows and corvids in general. I thought that was pretty. I like the, it's foggy. It's so my aesthetic. And I also got this one as well. I thought those were cool. Okay, now on to the thing that uh, I'm really interested to show you guys. So I had to get glasses to read. At my job, I mostly wear them. Um, they're good for uh, in front of computer screens because of the blue light. They're, and just my eyesight, I'm in my 40s now, you know, and that's about when your eyes start to turn on you. So I got glasses, you guys are my first ones and I'm gonna debut them on this channel right now in this video. But I wanted it to be like a thing. Like I wanted to make it an event, you know, before I show you what I have in store though. First I got these and they're just to hold your glasses, you know, like around you or whatever. And I got some things to, some little micro towel things to like keep them clean. Let me show you my glasses, you guys. I was gonna get a sexy like teacher outfit, but they didn't make a sexy teacher outfit. So I got a sexy uh, schoolgirl outfit and I don't know if I can show it because it's uh, very, very scandalous, but <laughs> here's my glasses. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? 
so I'm blind. I'm not blind. I'm just uh, getting old. <laughs> and for me to like understand that, I had to like make it fun. So, oh boy. So this is my cute outfit. <laughs> not sure how much of that I can show, but I said I was going to do it and I did the thing. These are, um, these are actually bifocals. They're no line. So depending on where you look is like how strong I guess the prescription is. It's taking me a very long time to get used to these fuckers. Like I'm not going to lie. Um, it's, it makes me dizzy if I wear them too long, if I'm not reading. I can only wear them if I'm like reading something. Um, but that's it. That's all I have for you. I should wait for Gary to come home in this. Or maybe I'll wear it for our anniversary. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, putting up with whatever the hell it is I do on my channel. I don't even know at this point. I am sorry I've neglected this channel so much. It's just, you know, priorities, you know? What's more important sometimes? So. I love my channel, it's a hobby though, and uh, I will post when I can if I have anything of value to show you, which I usually don't. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, putting up with my wacky weird shenanigans, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!